Nick Hart from Backstreet Boys. Shout out to Boy Band Break. It's Chris Kirkpatrick here. Shout out to your podcast, Boy Band Break. Hey everybody, this is Howie D, and I'm listening to Boy Band Break. Hi, Ashley Parker Angel here. Huge shout out to the Boy Band Break podcast. This is Brad from LFO, and you are listening to Boy Band Break. Hey, what's up? This is Jacob. It's Dan. What's up? It's Trevor. And it's Eric Michael, and it's time for Boy Band Break, baby. Let's go! <laughs> Welcome back to Boy Band Break. We encourage you to take a break from your day and join us in some boy band conversation. As always, I'm Chinzia. And I have Lydia and uh, Sophia are not available today. So I have some ringers coming in. So you all know our buddy here. I'm pointing the wrong way. Diane. Welcome back, Diane. Hi. Hi. And then below me, we have uh, a gentleman we speak about often on this podcast. Um, uh, one of my other besties, Josh, Big Papa. Welcome hey back guys. to the podcast. Uh, I believe you've been on twice, I want to say. Maybe Josh? three times. Yes. So he's been on, uh, if you ever saw our Lou Pearlman most sales, notably. <laughs> that is the most notable one where he was possessed by Lou and ended up smacking Lydia in the face at some point. So uh, go, that's one of our earlier episodes, I would say. Oh, well, no, it's not one of our earlier episodes. Second year two, maybe? It is like our third Halloween. Yes. Okay. So probably around the 150-ish mark. No, I think it was time. even, yeah, it might have even been after 100. 100. But, yeah, because I feel like we Not important. You're not looking it up right now. Okay, I'm not looking it up right now. Sorry. Okay. Uh, anyways, uh, today's episode is airing on July 2nd. So happy Canada Day to everyone who celebrated yesterday in Canada. And happy early 4th of July for you guys who are celebrating, I guess, in the middle of the week. So there you go. It's always weird when a holiday falls. Like on a weekend, it's awesome, right? But then you're just like, what day am I going to be off? So um, my workplace, because it fell on a Saturday, I'm off on Monday. Um, you guys are teachers, so you're off right now. So yay, enjoy yeah. your summer. Except Josh is teaching summer school, so uh, yeah. there you go. So I guess he's not really enjoying his summer. Uh, well, you will, obviously. Um, and then um, what happened? Like, it's weird when the holiday falls in the middle of the week. So like the 4th of July, people, you guys are having it on, what, Tuesday, I guess? Like, do you just take the Monday off? Do you still get the Tuesday? Do you work? Like, they take I, would assume, day. I assume that most businesses will be closed Monday, but that's not what we're here to discuss. That is not here because, you know, while we're back, we're talking back streets back to the beach. So in last week's episode, we were giving a boy band updates on a bunch of things. And we had mentioned that the Pop 2000 tour is going to Mexico in at the end of September, beginning of October. And then we mentioned that the Backstreet Boys had this big elaborate countdown for their 30th anniversary. And then they announced a mysterious thing, which was them going to the beach. And then they put coordinates for Cancun. And we're like, cool, we're gonna find out all this information. This is great. And then we found out nothing. So finally, finally, they have, uh, given us that information. So hold on, let me just share my screen here, do, 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 which I always forget how to do, share screen, tab. Okay, so if you head to the Backstreet Boys website, you will see this lovely little counter. It'll be a few days past because we are recording this in the middle of the week. Uh, so- oh, the amount uh, of days is hilarious. Sorry? The amount of days is hilarious. So currently, when we are recording this, it's 294 days, 14 hours, 32 minutes, and 14 seconds. Uh, there's a cute little welcome video where the boys are talking about them going to the beach. So the reason why they keep saying back to the beach is that they did an event in, I believe, 2017, 2007. Many years ago, they did one of this, they did this event. Oh, sorry. They have been to this resort before. I believe it was oh. in the year. I think that was 20, I want to say 2017. They were there um, performing, but that was like indoors. So previous to this, like back in the heyday, they did like an MTV or a VH1 type spring break event in Mexico. So that's why they keep referring it as back to the beach. So then you enter the site. Um, 
And then I will share this screen instead. So now this is the website for Backstreet's Back Beach Cancun 2024. So if you're looking for this, it's Backstreet's Back at the beach dot com. So uh, there's been, as per usual, there's been some like people stressing out about this as we always do when every time an event is announced, but at least they've given us about a week and a half before it goes on sale. So for anyone who has previously been on a batch voice cruise or anyone who has signed up for the newsletter or anything, they get a pre-sale and that is on July 6th. So you can book then. Uh, the public is allowed to book on July 7th and uh, there's a couple of cool things. So this is obviously not footage from this beach party or maybe it is i guess it is but uh i feel like i've there. watched this one through run through once and it's footage it's footage from the cruise it's random footage from concerts in vegas and then just you have some like random events happening though at this like beach party i yes, was like so... looking at, i was looking at i was looking at one of the websites that's talking about it and it's like you're gonna you're gonna have tequila and guacamole with howie and you can yeah, have and that DJ that is not surprising Kevin. it's guac and shots so we'll go through we're gonna go through all of that shit so we're gonna go through it feel free to jump in and talk at any point um so for those of you who are interested uh so again we mentioned it goes on sale july 6th and 7th and it is actually in april so it's april 18 to 21 uh 2024 so it's about i cannot do math right now what about 10 months away ish 294 days hello 294 days yes so uh less than a year away so it is happening in cancun mexico and it's a four night event but my friends it's not just the backstreet boys let's read what we got here Ooh. so the backstreet boys are going on vacation and you're invited that's right all me you we're celebrating wow. 30 years of Backstreet Boys on the beach in Cancun, Mexico. Join us 8, April 18th to 21st, 2024 for a once-in-a-lifetime trip with the Backstreet Boys. Jason Derulo, Eric Chubchi, DJ Yossi, and more amigos to be announced. Backstreet's Back at the Beach is an how are you, Sorry, back yes. up a second. How are you getting Chubchi out of that? I have no idea how to pronounce that. Well, there's no H after the C, so it's Cubichi? Cubichi? Cubichi. I'm going with Cubichi. Maybe it's like Chinzia. Maybe that's why I'm Maybe. Eric, whatever. Tell us how to pronounce it. Yes, so DJ Yossi. Uh, more amigos to be announced. So I thought those were all the amigos. So this is interesting. Um, but no you know, other, I don't think there's any other amigos. It could literally be anyone. It's like Juan the bartender. I don't <laughs> exactly. Know. So, um, so Backstreet's back in the beach. <gasps> oh my god! What if they got that bachelor, that that bartender from Bachelor in Paradise? Bro, that would oh, be so. There cool. you go. You never know. Right? They do theirs in Mexico. That would be sick. Anyways, Let's carry on. They, if, hey, Backstreet Boys, if you're listening right now get the get the bartender from bachelor in paradise okay okay diane has put in an official request so there you go um you know what you have no idea who's gonna come because jason derulo like <coughs> never really heard of them doing anything to get have they done anything did we I, see him they, okay so i remember ions ago like i want to say unbreakable tour uh, it was a rumored that Jason Derulo was going to open for them, and then he blew up and did not. Um, and they ended up getting some girl group who no one cared about. Um, they did do one. I think it was like KT Euphoria. Yes. Okay. And Jason Derulo was there, and the Backstreet Boys were there. Okay, so maybe that's where they've kind of met and stuff. But you know what? Uh, jo uh, Big Papa was a big fan of Jason Derulo's song during the pandemic. Would you like to demonstrate the dance there? No, I think I'm good. The Savage Love dance? You don't? Savage Love, that's what it was all savage about. Savage Love. It's a okay, Robert, it's sort of I just want to know who DJ Yossi is. 
Uh, I looked him up. He's just some sort of LA DJ. So yes. Well, apparently so, him and Kevin are going to be like, or him and Hack Kevin are going to be DJ setting it. So yes. So I shall continue on with this. All right. The inaugural event will feature two nights of backstreet performances on the beach, including their DNA show. So, you know, who doesn't love the DNA show? Just when you thought it was dead. When you're like, oh man, DNA is over. Good news. You got one more chance to go see it guys. Um, you know what, though? It is one of their... This their is a tour pictures. that never ends. Yes, it goes on. Um, as well as a special 30 for 30 performance, which will see the group performing a set that is entirely chosen by fans. I feel like this could be disastrous and fantastic at the same time. I love this idea. Like, I think it's going to be fucking sick as hell yes if they actually let it be chosen by fans yes I don't like, think I'm not, I I'm can't not... see them letting I can't see them letting them being chosen by fans like I just don't no see they've done it before they've done things like on the la the last cruise that they did yes. didn't they have a like chosen by fans well, a couple of song and that was where we all but it was like all deep cuts or something I don't remember but they had like a really good thing where well, it was they did like, the oh, millennial millennium night. Well, that was that round. was a different. That was whew. amazing. Anyways, um, they should do that. But mm -hmm. anyways, that was a really good night on that cruise. That was fantastic. Um, so I'm an asshole. I just, so I'm just like, like actually yeah. chosen by fans and not like you know how my understanding. I didn't actually go do it, but when they had the top 30 countdown, it was, yep. there was like a list of shit. You there was a list from. of a hundred. Yeah. And then you could also write in, but oh, you could write in, you could write in. Uh, I feel okay. like that's a very, you'd need a lot of people to write in about the specific event. And I don't so I'm really thinking that. that this is also going to be like a list of songs. It'll probably be like, here's from. their entire catalog of released songs. To be fair, you can't have a bunch of songs that they don't remember. Excuse me, from Unbreakable and from uh, the other one. Being the Kevinless albums? Yes, because Kevin doesn't know those songs, and that's not really fair. Well, Kevin has time yeah. to learn the song. Well, that's true. He has 294 like days, although they haven't done the voting yet, so. Yes. I feel like it's going to be more like their, like, top 10 hit. So, like... I feel like a lot of fans are annoyed by their top My 10. prediction is as follows. Quit playing, playing with your heart. Okay. All I have to give, shape of my heart, I'll never break your heart. The call, larger than life. Did you just literally look as up long the as you love me. He's literally looking at a list of their top hits. And everybody, that'll be ten. Their top. My 10. friend, those songs are all included in DNA Night. So exactly. Yeah, really, I mean, this just proves that Josh is not. A seasoned Backstreet Boys fan. I'm because not. I'm just no seasoned ba Backstreet Boys fan is voting for "I Want It That Way." <laughs> like, I'm voting for "If You Want It to Be Good, Girl, Get Yourself a Bad Boy." Legit. They all hate it. So you know, except now. everyone that's gonna vote for that, they better be prepared for it now. They know it's happening. That's gonna be one. So number one on that list. I don't Angel know. People probably be on that know. list. I like the, the thing song. is on DNA. They do have quite a few like good deep cuts. Like some of my like favorites. You know, like that never made the that song. that that hadn't been sang saying. Wow, I'm sang. tired, guys. Sung in like years. True. Um, like obviously, <laughs> um. I can't think of anything. My brain is just off, guys. Summer vacation. What was that one that? <laughs> um, Trust me, way I like it. Yeah. Bah, bah. Like, bro, when I heard that for the first time, I lost my mind. Okay, so I would vote for that, but then it's yeah. like I'm already gonna hear that. So, do you vote for it again? Why not? If you like it that much, go for it. Here's what I would like all of you to do. Not vote for Siberia because I hate that song. No, so. I like Siberia. Vote for yeah. Siberia. 
Yes. So, um, um, so yeah. what people could do. Hey, you want to recreate the Millennium Night? Just vote for all the songs off Millennium, and then yep. maybe they'll put them in a row. I feel like that would be awesome, first of all. But also, all the songs off Millennium except Spanish Eyes. Listen, no offense, <laughs> that song is not great. Uh, oh, Diane is also a giant fan of the song Hot Hot Hot. <laughs> yeah, don't vote for that either. There's so many like good songs that are terrible. Good and terrible. Good um, and slash terrible. Uh, I was trying to think. Uh, they have how many albums? They have around. I feel like there's a big debate, but they have about 10 studio albums. 10 if you count the... And I guess people should. 10 if you count the greatest hits. Okay. So each album we would say probably has between, what, 10 and 15 songs? Yeah, and I mean, there's crossover because, like, there's the U.S. version of their debut album versus, like, their actual debut album and then Backstreet's Back. Like, there's whatever, but... Yes. You know, yeah. Yeah, 10 to 15 songs per album. And you feel like they're only going to allow, obviously, release songs? None of that. Because they do have some unreleased. Dude. People should write in for unreleased songs. How sick would that be? But will they remember these songs? uh, To your point, they have 294 days to learn it. That's true. That's a valid point. So there will be at least 150 songs to choose from, or 100 songs to choose from. So, anyways, I feel like it could be good. Anyways, uh, Jason Derulo. Can I just say my favorite Jason Derulo fact? Please do. Is his name is actually Jason Derulo, but it's spelled with a lot more vowels, and he has shortened it for his fans, so it's just D E R U L O. But it's like a whole. I feel like it's like French or something. It has a lot of like A's and U's and O's and. Ah. Uh, so it's like I don't know. It's like D E R U L E U X or something. I think so. It's like it's a more complicated thing. I was like, fantastic. Anyways. Uh, he will also take the main stage one night at the beach. This all-inclusive weekend includes luxury resort accommodations, daily pool parties, band-curated activities, premium food and beverages, and tons of surprises for Backstreet Boys fans. And you know what? I have to say, though, like, normally I feel like we are not surprised by them ever, often. Mm-hmm. But I feel like the Jason Derulo thing was a surprise because I feel Whoa. like no one was expecting that. You could have given me a hundred guesses of who, like, a special guest that they would bring to this thing was, and I n- not once in a hundred guesses would I guess Jason Derulo. Jason so Derulo. Uh, I would guess a lot of other people that they have worked with, and not him. But cool. You know what? Why not enjoy? The- Why not? All right. So. There are a bunch of event packages, which is interesting, is that this is a massive resort. So um, it's actually kind of set in like three different sections, I guess. I found a map somewhere, but I don't have it. So there's Mm -hmm. the Moon Palace Resort, and that is the Sunrise, the Nizuk, and the Golf Course. Then there's the Grand, which is on the other side, and that's like the fancier one. And then there's offsite villas, or you can make custom experiences. So there's a ton of packages. Um, here's some random pictures from there. Just gonna see. So um trying to figure out which best place to do this is. Okay, hold on. Let's do the experience. Yeah, let's go okay. over what let's go over what's happening. So yeah. uh okay, da 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 da. Okay, so the venue. So the venue is actually... Okay, so you know what? Before I get to this, let me just explain how many people can fit at this resort, maybe? Or should we do that later? I don't know. Yeah, sure, whatever you want. Okay, so I Googled this, and it is 123 acres, and it has 2,400 rooms, and it can hold up to 10,000 people. So a lot of people. Insane. That is a lot of people. So, um, so you know, in I might comparison well to the cruises, is that like... Okay, so a cruise usually had between 2,000 and 2,500 people. So like four four to five times the amount. So it's a giant amount. So 
The one major sticking point that people are very upset with about this trip is that it does not include a meet and greet with Backstreet Boys. So normally on the cruises, there's a day where you take a picture. So you get a group of your five. I believe at the first few cruises, it was like 10 people. But then it became like five people. In the... I think it was maybe only the first one. Because every time yeah. I went, it was only five. Yes. Um, so yeah, so during that, so part of the thing is you get a concert, you get a game show, you get a meet and greet and a picture and the date, the nightly parties. So a lot of people are comparing this event to the cruises because it's the most similar type of thing that mm -hmm. happens. Um, but due to the vast size, so when we were on the cruises, Diane, how long would you say it would take to get through all the pictures? Like six hours? Half hours? a day. Like... In my experience with the cruises, they'd split, they'd, on the cruises, everyone is split up into two groups. Uh, Except the for only the thing, cruise. I was going to say, the only thing that you do, like, uh, everyone is, like, the nighttime parties, because everybody could fit on the deck. But, like, even in the theater, they can only fit half of the amount of people that actually come. So they split you into two groups. Everyone does get a picture, but it's just like they start with group A at X time. And then, which I believe was very early. Like, I think very it was like 8 a.m. or something. I remember on various occasions, people being hungover and very seasick. Good. Yes. Um, the last one I got super seasick. I was not hungover. Sometimes hungover and seasick. Um, double whammy of awesomeness. Like, like when Howie has sunglasses on at the meet and greet, you know there's some problems. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Howie's going to have a blast at the all-inclusive resort. Um, Howie's hilarious. Uh, Howie is the best, guys. So, I don't, I've all, I, every cruise I did, I picked group B because I'm like, mm, fuck no, I'm not waking up early for anything. Yeah, and this um, is like dining, I like that, I don't care. And late, yeah, the early dining, you have to eat dinner at like five. I'm like, nah, I'm not 100, so. Yeah, I'm not 90. So I think the late dining is like 7 or 8 or something. Something like that, yeah. Um. So anyways, I always got the later set of pictures, which I think starts at like 10 or 11. And I think they're, they're never on time. Please, no. you guys should know this by now. Backstreet time is invented. You know, and no then shit package. happens and people argue and everything takes longer than it's supposed to. Um, so I think it's supposed to, it was supposed to roughly take four hours, but sometimes ran like five or six. Right. So that is <laughs> of this time of the amount, yeah. max amount of people. So if they were going to do a meet and greet with everyone, it would take a day, 24 hours approximately to do this. So you would just waste a whole day and they would be like exhausted and miserable looking and all that stuff. So, And I think what people have to kind of think of this as comparatively, like I know you were saying people are comparing it to the cruise, but I just don't think you can. Aside from the fact that it's like a tropical, tropical and like beachy and you get like a hotel room and food. <laughs> it's more like I would compare it more like going to see them in Vegas. Okay. That's the way yeah. that I'm thinking of it. It's still a vacation, like with your friends. Yeah. Right. There's the hotel, there's like the fancy shit. More is included, so that's good. Like Vegas is more expensive in terms of Everything. food and like <laughs> you know, whatever. You gotta find your own hotel. You gotta find exactly. your own you gotta get transportation to the event. You need to like so, but I'm just thinking in terms of like how I would go into this event of thinking it, of it more like Vegas than the cruise. Or like if Vegas and the cruise had a baby. Had a baby. You know what I mean? Like oh, true. there's concerts that you're going to attend at night and there will be these other like additional events, but it's not going to be... It's not going to be the cruise. No, yeah. it's not going to be the cruise. And I know and so, like, of... stop thinking it's going to be the cruise because it's not. Yes. No, and, and that's true. This is its own standalone event. And uh, uh, somebody I was reading online, they brought up, brought up a very good point about the cruise. Because even when the cruise happened, the very first cruise was the one I went on. I went on, I don't know, three or four, four of them, maybe? I don't know. You but did we went... four, I believe. 
Yeah. So the very first cruise, I don't even know how the heck I even heard about it, but I was just like, yes, let's do this. And I dragged my sister and we're like, we're doing this cruise. It's with the Backstreet Boys. And it was only, a, and nobody, and a lot of people didn't really know what was going on because there was no precedent to this. There was, I guess, were the new kids cruises already happening? The new kids cruises were already happening. I didn't book it and I knew about it and I actively made the choice not to book it because I didn't know what was going to happen. Yeah. And I, that's the same thing that's happening here. Yes. Nobody so, knows what this nobody will Nobody knows and everyone's starting on the same page. And I feel like you just got to take that leap because when we went on the cruise, like, let me tell you, I was friggin' shocked. I, I was like, and so the first cruise, we all did everything together because we were only half charter. Kind of annoyed the normies on the ship because they were like, what the heck is going on? But some of them got free meet and greets and pictures and stuff. But like even like the Q&A, I had been used to Q&As at, um, at a meet and greet, which is like three questions. So I'm just like filming this on my little like camera because that's how long ago it was. And I ran out of space on my SD card because it was an entire hour of Q&As. Like um, they had events, they had all stuff. So there's a lot of cool things that happen. Um, so I feel like you just need to, if you can afford it and you want to do it, I think you just need to go in with an open mind and just kind of see it is what it is. Right. What I, what we would start doing when we started going on the, on the other cruises is that you just kind of think of it as a vacation to see your friends that you don't normally see. Mm -hmm. Go in with very low expectations and then be pleasantly surprised. So, um, a lot of people are like, oh, you can only... So the boys will also be doing um, events. They'll be doing individual events, which they've done in the past. Um, but every time we've been on a cruise, we have we have always gone at least one selfie with the guy. Like, yes, obviously it's a smaller location. They can't really go anywhere. Mm -hmm. so, but like we've, especially the last few cruises, we've had like picture of Nick every day or drunk Howie coming out of the bathrooms and hanging out with people afterwards or things yeah. like, like, or AJ on the last cruise refused to take selfies the entire time, but then said on the very last day, I will take a selfie with whoever wants a selfie. And he stayed for hours up there taking selfies on the Lido deck or the above Lido deck. Um, so it's not like the guys are just going to be sitting in their rooms the whole time. And obviously don't be a creeper and please don't try to figure out where their rooms are. Give them personal time. But when Based on walking, what you were showing me, I would go into this, and maybe I'm wrong. I could 100% go wrong, be wrong. But I would go into this assuming they're going to be in the off-site villas and just right, be like, sure. driven in every day. In the private like area. Yeah. So, I'm sure AJ's going to go golfing some days. But they're yeah, golfing. they're going to be around. They have events to do, so it's not like they won't be there. Mm -hmm. um, but I think... I'm thinking they're going to keep them there. Very um, well could, for sure, for security purposes. Maybe not, right? maybe not. But also, yeah, to your point, they're still the Backstreet Boys. They're still who they are. Yeah. Like, and you, like they're very personable people. Like, you know, especially, you know, like, especially Nick. When he's out there, he will be doing things. How he's like, they will take pictures. Oh, the one cruise, the last cruise we went on, Kevin had this whole Kevin thing. Kevin was, was the friggin mvp of the last cruise he was taking time and actually listening to people and telling them his life stories like which which again made the line like super long and it was not very well organized but he was still doing that he was he cares about people he's going to talk to you if you have that chance like i had this giant um newspaper the when i was on the front page of the toronto star when i was 15 when i went to go see the bachelor boys at much music and i had got the other four to sign it when Kevin was taking a hiatus and for like 10 years after this picture. And then it was another 10 years later. And I was like, I need Kevin to sign this. So I literally brought it to the cruise, like a chump carrying this giant plaque and a Sharpie and then put a little sign up. And it's like, Hey, Kevin, can you, then he like, the people helped me out, got it to Kevin. He signed it. He said, thank you. He sent, sent it back. And that was like literally the first day. So, you know, it's, it's, it's very easy to run into the guys at this thing. They're not going to have a party. They're not I don't know. Okay. Uh, it's not, very okay, easy I'm not to saying, run I'm into the boys on a cruise. Everyone this yes. is not a cruise. This is not a cruise, so it'll be a bigger area. But. I don't know how many, and I don't know, guys, I, nobody knows. No. There's probably going to be less of those organic 
run into them situations. Because there's so many places. Just because of the size of the venue and because of the nature of how this seems to be set up. You know? But it doesn't mean there will be none. Right, exactly. Less and doesn't mean none. No. True. And you know what? And again, just go into it as this is a fun vacation with my friends, or this is a fun vacation that I'm going to meet new people that have the same interest as me. And oh, look, the Backstreet Boys are performing. Oh, look, I'm going to see this thing. So, And to your um, earlier point, the more chill you are, the more yes. that those organic kind of situations are going to pop up, you know? 100%. For sure. Um, I'm just trying to find... <sighs> Because exactly, if you're screaming, like I know we're all in our like 30s and 40s and whatever, uh, most of us, but like, don't be not like, just be chill, just be cool. You don't need, sometimes you can even have a moment where you're not taking a picture with them. You could literally just have like a, hey, what's up? Uh, some, some, of, like, some of my best moments have happened off camera. Exactly, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just, you just go with it with the fun, um, spirit of adventure and just kind of go from there I'm trying to see where like where the itinerary is yeah is that what you're looking for yeah where is that is it on here or no i have not i have not explored this oh you know what let's go to the frequently asked questions page beautiful maybe this will have us okay so what is included in my hashtag bsb at the beach package so all packages include four five or six all-inclusive nights at the in cancun I do. Okay. I want to address that because when you're on a cruise, I'm sorry to keep bringing it back to that, but when you're on a cruise, you're like, this is the days, that's it. This, you are not, um, like you are, you're in charge of your own flights. So obviously flights from all over the world are coming in. They might not all travel on certain days. So they do have options to add and extend a couple of days if you need to. Which but in my opinion is one check in. This is favor over a cruise. Like, yeah. not that you can't explore Miami yeah. if you're going on a cruise, but, like, if you're coming from far, you have the option here to make your stay fit yeah. your needs. And I think that's odd a plus to this type of thing versus a cruise. Right, because, like, I'm sure a lot of people are flying in from other countries and all over the world, and you just want to be like, you know what, I'm going to, I'm flying... I don't know, let's say from yeah. Europe, it's going to be like a 10 hour flight. I don't want to just leave after four days. I want to just stay for an extra couple of days. Most of, these, most of these like events are like, this is just an event within the resort. Right. So most people stay at resorts for seven days. They yes, exactly. That's leave right. after four. You know what I mean? So I think that that's going to be yeah. what most people are going to do. And chances so, are the Backstreet Boys are going to stick around for seven days. I don't think they're leaving after four. They're going to leave after four. They're going to leave after, yes. Mm, I don't know. Yeah. I don't see that happening. Well, you know what? They might leave on different times, but they yeah, will definitely be there yeah. during those four days, right? So included is the uh, so welcome party, three nights of music on the beach, including two Backstreet Boys concerts, the DNA one and the 30 for 30, plus one set by Jason Derulo, uh, airport transportation. To I just had a Florida. thought. Yes. I wonder if the additional amigos are people who are performing with Jason Derulo because okay. they keep saying headlining set, which means that there's other people that will be at that concert. Oh, good catch. That's a good, yeah. You know, if you want to bring some members of the sink, come good there. Yeah, to perform with Jason Derulo. <laughs> O-Town is available, guys. O-Town is available. <laughs> Take them. All right. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a very valid point because if he's headlining, that means that there's going to be other people performing. So uh -huh. that's a good point um airport transportation so you're not stuck at the airport they will take you there um <laughs> unlimited food and drinks all weekend long including alcohol so this is different from the cruise one more you know, check-in this is this is favor versus the cruise there's no alcohol included in the cruise you gotta pay a bunch extra this is all included some of you may not be big drink and that's okay if you're not drinking that that does suck if you don't drink because now you're like oh i'm paying for this alcohol but you know what, if you're able to, and you know, enjoy your life, try something new. If, if you don't want to get a good laugh, you just pump Chintzia with a bunch of alcohol. And you can nice still get the fancy the drinks. Experience. You can still get the fancy drinks, yeah, just non-alcoholic. Yeah, you can too, right? If you, yeah. 
That's but true. it'll be part of the experience. Chinsia with the Backstreet Boys drunk. It's perfect. You know what? It would be perfect because I say, you know, there's no filter when this person is. There is there's no filter ever. What are you talking about? World, there is zero filter when she is drunk. Trust me. No, she doesn't have a filter. When does she have a filter? I try. She has a filter yeah. sometimes. When? Uh, when she's hang. No, when she's hangry, she doesn't have any filter. Yeah, you're right, Diane. She has no filter. Sir, you just annoy me a lot. I love you, babe, but yes. Okay. Love you. Please continue. All right. Uh, daily pool activities, individual events with AJ, Brian, Howie, Kevin, and Nick, and the official Backstreet's Back at the Beach welcome gifts. I'm going to assume it's probably going to be like sunglasses or like a towel. I was going to say, we always got gift bags on the cruise. We got like, yeah, we had little bags the one time. Every every time there's a bag. One time, yeah, it was like a quarter two bottle. times it was those like pool backpacks. But the yes. last one, it was like a nice actual like beach bag. Oh, yeah. With the little orange at the bottom. That was cute. Um. I think like even yes, they give it water bottles, sunglasses, <laughs> stickers, pins. Yeah, it's cute. It's fun. It's not garbage. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. It's not like made of gold, but it's like, you know, yeah. it's like usable things that are fun or whatever. I think yeah. Uh guests who purchase a package at the sunrise and the golf course will be granted access to those areas as in the Nazook section. Okay, so the grand this is Makes me want to spend money, but I don't have the money. But the Grand um, gets all this access to this other area, which includes, like, I can't remember what it includes, but it's something really cool. It's like a bowling alley or, like, a private Oh, my room, God, yeah. The Grand thing, like the grand. just in my brief scanning, I was just, like, the things that they have access to, I was like, damn, that's cool. Yes. And they have, like, their own private, like, way to get into the project like, and stuff. Better food and everything, too. I was like, man... I know. I to know. be rich. Uh, okay, so we already discussed that the pre-sale codes are coming out, if you have already... Oh, just to them. note up there, it does say, please oh, note, yes. meet and greets are not included in, in any package, and flights are also not included. Yes. So, I know, like, before it got announced, people were like, well, the flight's going to be included. I'm like, it's not going to be included, because you're coming from all over the world. And I understand, and I, because all-inclusive... Trips normally do include a flight. Yes. They do. They do because that's the whole point of it being all inclusive. Oh, so like, I can understand plane. why you just maybe would assume because you're like I've done many all inclusive trips, and the flight is always included. But you are book booking an individual yes. trip. Yeah. This is a different scenario. Yes. So. So maybe before you commit, double check and see how much flights are to Cancun. Cancun is the closest airport. Yeah, just when you're budgeting for the trip, Figure check out. that out. Yes, so there you go. Um, okay, so anyone who got a VIP during the DNA tour, anyone who's been on a cruise, any of that, you're all eligible for this pre-sale. Oh, wow. Um, otherwise, it's regular packages are on. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> So the pre-sale starts at 12 p.m. on Thursday, July 6th. The general public is 1 p.m. on Friday the 7th, um, Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so then there's a lot of locals, too, that have been asking, like, can I just purchase tickets to the show without going to the event? And it says the show access is only sold as part of the event package. There is no plans to sell tickets without resort accommodations. So that does suck for people who live in Mexico, but at least they don't have to pay for flights, I guess. I mean, that they save money there. It's kind of a bummer, but it also says, when you just read that, it says there are no plans to. Yeah. That yeah. doesn't mean plans change. This is That's 290 true. days away. Maybe they'll change the mind. Closer to, they might have like a local package or something. Yeah. Um, but yes, as we had mentioned before, this is an entire resort blackout. So like only so really random people, yeah. So only people who are going to this Backstreet event are going to be allowed at this resort. There's nobody else. So because um, we pop doesn't know a lot, I just did a little research on flights for that date. Yeah. If you're if you're a Canadian, if you're flying out of like the Ontario area, you're looking at like five hundred twenty-five dollars for the flight. Oh, that's not too bad. Because when I was looking earlier, it was like a thousand. So that that's reasonable-ish. Yeah. 
But yes, obviously you want to probably pick like your closest airport that's a big airport. Uh, I know when, personally for us, whenever we fly somewhere, we like to try two or three in the area. We usually do like Toronto, Hamilton, Buffalo. So we're lucky like that. Sometimes. Sometimes we even drive to Connecticut. Hey, yes. That, Diane does not want to be reminded of that trip, but yes, but you know, so just check around. Um, we like to use Flight Hub. I feel finds a lot of like good flights. Um, is there another flight? I always use Kayak. Kayak. I like Expedia. Expedia. Yeah, all those ones. Um, okay. Uh, can the pre-sale codes be used multiple times? Nope, you can only use it once. So you cannot sell your pre-sale code, people. Um, and then there's a whole process about how to buy. There's an entire video that explains everything. So that's good. Is there a payment plan option? Because these are very a little bit pricey for people to just immediately drop this cash. Yes, there is. Uh, there is a nine installment plan. So you the down payment is only $290. And then depending on what room you pick, then they're just divided evenly amongst the other nine dates. Um, so yeah, they had this for the cruise as well. Um, and it was depending on what room type it was, I think it was like four or $500 and then you just had to pay the other one. So it is good if you want to, if you need to do it this way, totally fine. Um, yes. And then it says, okay, they talk about travel insurance, are refunds allowed? So a lot of people are asking about this one. All packages are non-refundable and non-transferable. So that's a bit of a, eh, but um, they mentioned that like, obviously you're, you're, most people are sharing a room with other people. You have to update the guest names by March. So if I, I guess if someone switches by that time, you can update it. I'm just going based on non-transferable, non-refundable. It's definitely non-refundable. Yeah. Non-transferable usually means you can't change names. And usually non-transferable does say that. There's been a couple, there's been some people back and forth that have been talking to, um, oh, I want to mention that this is actually not run by Please and Thank You or Wonderful Union, who you, normally runs things, is actually by Playa Luna is the ones who are doing it. So there is a chat box here, so you can talk there. There's also a phone number that you can call and, you know, get your own answers because there's a lot of people with conflicting answers on the internet. So go check that out. But for the most part, just assume that it's non-refundable and non-transferable. The non-refundable part, I would assume, is standard. With standard. Anything. That was always the same on the cruise, too. Mm. Although I do think the cruise was... The cruise, this. if you canceled by a certain date, you would get it, yes. it back. Yes. It was, it was not fully refundable, but it was like if you canceled by X date, you got 50% back. Mm -hmm. If you canceled by this date you got only 25 percent back or something like that like they had a bit of a staggered thing where they'd give you some of your money yeah um but it wasn't fully refundable like the, that initial deposit was always not fully refundable but also guys if you go on the payment plan you can just you not make the payments. Payments. <laughs> what are they gonna do what are they gonna do <laughs> You're like, oh, cancel the credit card. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, you know what? That is a very valid point, Diane. I don't know how it's going to do for your credit score, but eh, <laughs> I, I'm just saying, if you say stop the payments from this place, what are they going to do? Yeah, that's valid. And they'll probably sell your spot. So really. Exactly. Um, the okay. non-transferable part is a bit of a pain in the butt, but... Because you never know what's going to happen, right? Like In life, know, but so I don't know, like insurance, cancellation insurance or something, yeah. yeah. If, you know, if this is an expensive trip for you and you want to do that, do that. Um, can this uh, multiple credit cards was a question. So the initial purchase when you're booking the room, you can only use one credit card. So if you're booking like for four people, all four of you are on one credit card. After that, you can update the credit card and people can pay their own individual ones. You don't have to pay for everybody in your room. Um, who is considered the and that the reason for that i am assuming is just to make those on sale dates go smoother because you know it's going to be backlogged with a bunch of people trying so to it's it. it's better for everyone that they do it that way mm -hmm. yes 100 percent 
uh okay so this is yeah here's where it says so the lead guest so the person who was the most willing to go on this trip, <laughs> the who has, like the most guarantee that they're going you have the main authority whatever and then the additional guest names must be submitted by tuesday march 19th so you have lots of time there um do you need to submit all names of the type of purchase no just the lead guest needs to be on it so that's good so then maybe if you don't know if you're going to be sharing your room, maybe just get a two-person room or something and then yeah. get out later, right? Or if, like, your bestie has a sick grandma, like, maybe don't put their name down till you know for sure, like... Exactly. Uh, what should I do if I'm purchasing a package as a gift for someone? Gift it to us, because we can very much <laughs> put that. Put my, my name down. down. <laughs> put my name down. It's Chinsy, that's <laughs> E-I-N, so there you go. Thank you. I appreciate your gift. Um, you can extend it. There are fees, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, all stuff is there. Okay, let's get to the event details. Ooh, this is a good part. What does all-inclusive mean? Is there a limit on food or beverages? I don't know, guys. All food and drip beverages, including alcohol, are included in your event package. The resort offers multiple restaurants, buffets, coffee shops, bars, in addition to 24-hour room service, the oceanfront venue also offers unlimited options for each show night. And take so, advantage of that room service, guys. It's sick. If you're tired and hungover in the morning, you don't want to go there, or it's 3 o'clock in the morning, you're starving, get yourself some pizza. You know, so good times. How many nights are the Backstreet Boys playing? What will it, So we've already said that's two days. Uh, there will be music on all four nights. The welcome party is the first night, followed by three nights of music. Backstreet Boys will take the main stage two nights, and Jason Derulo one. Pool parties, DJs, and then they're going to give you more specifics closer to the day. Uh, okay, here's the question. Do all guests receive a meet and greet and photo op? No, not included. However... 30 lucky guests will be randomly selected to win a special happy hour meet and greet with the band. Be sure to purchase the event package within the first two weeks of the on sale. So you need to purchase before July 21st to be included in the draw for this. Each guest that purchase um, will be automatically entered to win. One entry will be given to the lead guest and one to each additional guest. Mm -hmm. um, they're not going to do this until March. Now, the meet and greet is limited only to the winner and does not include entry for other guests in their party. However, all guests at the winner's package joins first entry into the venue on one night of the meet. So each of these 30 people, whoever's in the room with them, get to get into the concert first. Uh, and there's also but that is good to note that, like, it's not you and your whole room that get the golden ticket it's, it's just, just 30 people yeah i got a golden ticket exactly how does the golden ticket work the band will randomly select 30 lucky guests to win a 30 minute group happy hour with the band additionally golden ticket winners and their guests will be granted we already said this part uh yeah. okay anyways the boys will be doing a live drawing on social media at the end of march 2024 and the winners will be notified by email Will all guests be included in the band activities? Band curated activities are available to guests on a first come first serve basis. We've carefully selected ideal spaces for these activities, ensuring there is ample room for as many guests as possible. Rest assured, there will be plenty of space available for everyone. So this has also been causing a lot of people anxiety and whatever. Um, I'm just gonna tell you that I know this sounds weird, but not everyone goes to the boys' events, the solo events. When we were on the cruise, like uh, the literal game show variety hour, there was like only half of the people there. Or like um, the fashion show or whatever. There was like, or Howie's shots. He did that on the Lido deck, so whatever. And then he, they pick people from the crowds to join them in these events. But they're generally in a bigger area. And this is saying right in here is saying that it will be in a bigger area. So I think a lot of people are like, oh, my God, they're going to be in this tiny little venue where only 10 people can fit. And then everybody. How else many acres did you say this place is? Sorry. It's 123 oh. acres. Yeah. Well, like, I don't if, think... wanna, if people on this show want to buy me a ticket, 
I'll go, but I'm not, I'll just go to the concerts and to. Okay, so Josh day. will save himself from going to the solo event so that it leaves space for other people. Oh, great. Thank you for your selfness, yeah. selflessness. Um, but no, like, listen, as Shinzi is saying, it's a hundred and however many acres. Like, I don't think any space in this entire resort is tiny. No, I think it's big outdoor. So I, have you found the itinerary? I can't find it. I don't know where it is. I haven't been looking, but I can look okay. if you want. You can look it up. And I just wanted to say the five events. I thought it was on here, but I guess not. Um, I will quickly look for it while you can. So anyways, yeah. So how these have worked in the past is that each boy does their own thing. Um, Kevin had, he was really, was he playing new music? I think in his, I feel like. Adrian oh, you're talking about the last on cruise? The, on the last cruise, like when they did their own individual events. So. So they're going to be, here's the individual events, because I have it right in front of me. Ah, perfect. Thank you, Josh. So, there will be several events with the boys, including a tequila guacamole tasting with Howie Drow. I don't know Drew, if that's a last yes. thing. A Howie. DJ set by Kevin Richardson. Karaoke with AJ. A beach volleyball tournament with Nick Carter. And a special variety show featuring Brian Luttrell's whole family. Wow. See? So there you go. So those will all be events happening. They'll be happening in an open place. A beach we I have actually witnessed Nick doing beach volleyball. If you would ever like to look up my first viral video, I believe it's called shirtless Nick Carter lotion something. Oh I tried to put as many keywords as possible to make oh my god. But that was from the first cruise beach party. Like beaches are very wow. large. Sorry? Is that when you lubed him up? I did not, but he fell at my feet. He fell on me, and I said sorry, and he said no problem. And I'm like, <laughs> classic <laughs> Canadian. I was like, why am I apologizing for falling on me? But yes, no, it's uh, it's, it's a good oh, it's right here. If you click on, uh, sorry, let me go back so I can see you. If you go up to the top and you click on experience, okay. Just helpful for everyone. And then you hit view packages. Ah, okay. It is at the top of that page. Like, if you scroll down, you'll see the packages. But once that page opens, it's going to open in a new tab, I think. Oh, did it? Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what you're I'll doing either. Uh, share this tab instead. Packages? Yeah. So see there at the top, that shows you what the stuff is. What am I looking at? I see nothing. This blue box that says Backstreet's back at the at the beach. Bundles include... Bun what? Oh. Uh... No, you're going too far. Okay. I'm going back. Sorry. Bundles include... All, all packages include... Oh, no. This is the same thing. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Found it. Found it. Yeah, right. Walk and shots with Howie D. Sunset Vibes with DJ Kevy Kev. Serve yeah. And serve with Nick. Microphone Madness, Karaoke Fiesta with AJ, and Literal Variety Show. So, yes. Thank you, Josh. Uh, yes. So, all of these things are will be done, like, I'm sure walk and shots will be done on the beach. On, like, some sort of stage. Obviously, the beach volleyball is going to be happening there. Uh, karaoke. Karaoke is fun because they're probably going to get people from the crowd to come sing with AJ. Or he'll be hosting it or something. So, like, these all seem like very fun events, as they always are. And as they always are. Usually, an event like this is usually about an hour, half hour, hour, I think, depending. They're out there, they'll interact with the crowd, they'll usually call volunteers up, or they'll somehow get people will get up there, things like that. So, so um, here's the deal, boy band, right? People, Chinzia, Diane, and I want to go, so just buy us tickets and send them our way. We yeah. love you. We want to continue this show, but we need oh, your shit. tickets to send to us. Stop sharing the screen. Uh, guys, I'm just looking around at, like, what some of the other things they have are at this resort. Yeah. It's pretty cool. There is a, yeah. a professional hair dryer and straightener, guys. Wow. wow. I'm just going to look amazing. They with that have a welcome bottle of, uh, of wine in your room. They have mm -hmm. cervezas in the mini bar. 
They have free Wi-Fi complimentary throughout your stay. Wow. Like that is important for people. That is important. I know it's important because the last time I went, where, where to Cuba? Granted, it was like 10 years ago, but I had to pay a lot of money for very little dial-up internet to try to access. So, you know, Wi-Fi. packing space, guys. You don't got to pack your hair straightener and your no. hair dryer. They got professional grade quality instruments that hair on site. Has been real handy for me. Totally. Like, make me look beautiful. Do I need an outlet converter? It is uh, accommodate North American outlets. However, if you're traveling to a region outside of North America, please bring an outlet converter for your convenience. Indeed, doodly. And you could they accept U.S. currency and Mexican currency. Uh, let's see what else. What else? Oh, what other areas of the resort will I have access to? All of them. Uh, I wish I could see the. I wish there was a map. They accept America. There is a map. I was just looking at a map. At the packages. I got, I got a big five yeah. dollar bill right here. To put it oh. down. If you click on package details, there's a map at the bottom of that page. Okay. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, so as you can see, this is a very large resort. Very large. Like, it's like four resorts put together. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. So Sunrise, which I actually think is a cheaper, one of the cheaper sections. Uh, yeah. This is where the venue is. So as you can see, the venue is on the beach. There is a large beach. You could even listen to the concert in the water if you want to. You know? Oh, yeah. Good times. So they got, uh, they have a whole bunch of pools and fun things there. The Grand is all the way over there. Uh, there's a golf course. If you are staying in the golf course section, you can actually rent your own golf course. Uh, golf club, not course. You can rent your own golf cart and have your own like private golf cart. Cart yourself around. Cart yourself. It said it was $750. I was like, is that for the entire time or just while you play golf? Because I feel like that's not, I feel like that's a lot, but if you get it for the entire time and you're just like wandering around the resort on a golf cart, like how fun would that be? And you know, the boys are going to do that. You know, they're going to be driving by you in a golf cart at some point. And that's going to be hilarious. And it's going to be funny because they, challenge each other to stupid things all the time and it's very entertaining so. it also kind of looks like some of the pools are like right by the beach which seems cool yeah so you could see the beach because you know sometimes you don't want to be in the salt water or whatever and then or you want to be closer to the pool bars um i was looking at things you're not you're not allowed to bring outside food in the venue uh for the concert because they give you food i was like where would you pick up extra food to bring? I'm like, okay. Like, Maybe, okay. you know how some people, okay, and I, people probably don't do this in Mexico, but I know a lot of people do this when they go to Cuba. Yeah. They bring, like, their own snacks and stuff, like, to have in their room. Yeah. Um, just because, no offense, I don't know if anyone's listening from Cuba, but, like... The, the food the, quality is not the greatest. Right. At least... It's not what a lot of people are used to. Yeah, so that's good. That's good. they bring their own like granola bars and chips and. Or I got my sister bring a suitcase with peanut butter, Nutella, ketchup, mustard, cheese. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that flavor to the. Um, like, guys, there's Mexican food. It's Mexico. Oh, it's, it's gonna like, be delicious. Oh, there's gonna be delicious like tacos and guacamole and oh my god dream man it's amazing so um anything else do you want to show the prices or no uh sure i guess we can show the prices so the the prices are a bit the cheapest so this is pricing is per person not per room so keep that in mind as well um oh my god yeah look at this look at this this, this is a crazy bunch of that is like cool people. as hell it looks like some kind of lazy river oh my god like how fun is that there's some pictures of rooms Palm trees, like the water, beach, the ocean. Like, that's amazing. Um, okay, so there are obviously a ton of different types of rooms because this is an entire resort. Um, it's literally like three resorts. Oh, I forgot to mention, there's some of them that are stage front suites. So you can literally just watch the concert from your room if you don't want to be on the sand. Oh, my God. In front of anybody I mean, that's pricey, but cool. Yes. 
Holy shit, that is pricey. Okay. This is five thousand five hundred dollars per person. Fifty eight hundred dollars. Who the hell is going to pay that? Um, rich people. You know what, Josh? Maybe no, people. So yes, yeah, so there's the stage on the beach. There's, I don't know, man. I feel like I would rather watch it from the beach than from my room. I was gonna say, there. how the heck are you seeing it from there? Like it's not Let's really it's the beach. Side, beach like side side side. I guess you can go out on your balcony. Is the point? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Presidential Watch this suite. Cheapest, Jimmy, because that's where we're at. Golf course. So the golf course starts at twenty-two. I feel like the cheapest is the other guy. Hold on. Sunrise. I feel. We're in Probably Sunrise. Are we not? Just a deluxe room. Twenty-one seventy-five. I think that's yeah. Yeah. So you get a king bed or two double beds. One to four guests. Um, our deluxe rooms make an amazing home base. It is, yeah. So they're just kind of, you know, honestly, and I said this with, like whenever, bleh, whenever we went on the cruise, I always opted for the Leonardo DiCaprio deck, which is like interior, tiny ass room because you're on vacation. Why are you sitting in your room? Go out and meet people. Enjoy the sun. Enjoy the food. Enjoy the things. Like, on the cruise, they did have Backstreet TV, which was nice at night when you're watching stuff. Generally, like, friends, when we go on vacation together, yes, we spend many hours just deliberating what we're going to do while we're sitting in a room that we're doing nothing in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, that's my favorite part of our vacations is when we do yes. nothing and just discuss. And the three of us go on vacation together. You guys would quite enjoy the show. Oh, Chintia yes. gets on her computer, and then we don't okay. get to go anywhere. And then Diane gets frustrated and wants to do her makeup, and she can't because Chintia is in the way. And then I get frustrated and get on my phone because I don't want. And then do Josh anything. takes fifty thousand showers a day. You know, good times. Yeah. Great. It's great. Anyways, this is different because this is a crew. Uh, this is a resort, so you can just wander around and do whatever you want. No we seasickness. All know how well I wander. You wander drunk jaw. I would be very hard to corral you at this event because Lord knows where you would be walking too. But anyways, um, there's lots of package options. Go check it out. Obviously it's cheaper. The more people you have in a room. Um, yeah. So really you just kind of have to look it out, figure it out. Um, it is a bit pricey if you're going in one person for example, this one in this particular room is $4,100 for four days, which is a lot of money. So very understandable. And you know what, guys, like, it's okay not to go on the trip. Like, it is okay. I understand FOMO. I know I will probably be having FOMO. I currently have no plans to book this. If I do, it'll be later on. It would be nice. It definitely would. But some things are pretty expensive so it's a fun event it's up to you you make the decision what's based on your life and kevin also mentioned that this is the end of the 30th anniversary year so there might still be other events coming up we don't know and also People the on sale dates aren't the only days you can buy it no as we said, this is a very, very large venue with a capacity for up to 10,000 people. Exactly. The odds that this is going to sell out At these as places. soon as it goes on sale is very slim. If you have never met them before and you want to try to win that golden ticket, again, there's only 30 of them available, so your odds are not the greatest. But it's better than people who don't book with fine. But I feel like me personally, this is something that I would need to think about more for sure and check things out and figure out what the heck I'm doing with the rest of this year to kind of. But even without out. the golden ticket, like I'm just kind of, <coughs> I, if I was booking, that wouldn't even be in my mind. Right. You know? No, because you're going to have concerts regardless. And listen, it's a big resort. I'm pretty sure you're going to run into the boys at some point somewhere. Oh, they're not sure. assholes. They're nice guys. They're going to say hi. They probably will take a selfie unless they're AJ. So Why AJ? Because I because I had mentioned that AJ didn't want to the last time. So I, I don't think it really matters. I also think that sometimes when they do these big events, because I've seen other events with other people, 
the closer to the date, sometimes things the pricing get. If they haven't really sold enough, they tend to lower the price because they want people to show up. Right? That is so a valid a point. It too. is true. So I guess it all depends on how it goes. So yeah, you never know. The 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 tricky part about that though is then your flights are going up closer to the date. Yeah. So you might save money at the hotel, but then you're now paying more. But that's true. Like I feel like they had um I want to say the European cruise, I feel like the price went down a little bit closer. Yeah, it's crazy. something that happens with these kind of I don't Or were we just harassing Eddie and trying to get Eddie to make him <laughs> I think that was the, <laughs> the thing that my point but is don't put plus. pressure on yourself that like I have to buy it now. Exactly. Exactly. You know? See and if I, you can get money together, try and save. And then if you can, you can. You know? Yeah, because at the end of or the day, do, like have said, do the payment plan. And if after a month you don't want to do it, just cancel your credit card. <laughs> just cancel your credit <laughs> Start off the Sea of Mexico. Listen, I see opportunities like this that other people don't see. <laughs> I'm not well, recommending you do that. I'm just saying you could. True. Yeah. You know, change banks. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> change. I got to run away from this. <laughs> It's going to follow me forever. Change banks. I'm just saying, how hard are they really going to track you down if you just stop making the payments? But to be honest, if I'm going to spend $5,000 on a trip, I'm going to spend it going to, like, Paris. No, for sure. Well, and you're a different person, yeah. right? And I don't even know as who much as your favorite cool musician. As much as I cool boys, I've met Old Town. I feel, I feel like I'm special. That's the same. <laughs> Trevor did give you a shout out for your birthday. So I'm you J to the O to the S. Shh. J to the O to the Sh is what he called you. Yes. Um, but yeah, so at the end of the day, again, sometimes we tend to panic buy when yeah. things come up. So, and we know this, because some, sometimes they'll announce something and it'll go on sale the next day and they won't tell us the prices. So at least like, kudos to them for actually putting the pricing out Everything is there and giving yeah. people like a week and a half to think about it and whatever, right? So um, at the end of the day, it looks like a good time. It's definitely, you, you know that they're not going to lead you astray and have a shit ton. They're going to be like, okay, hi, we're singing two songs, now we're gone. You know you're yeah. at least getting what? the two? How long is the DNA tour? Two hours? Yeah. It was a you're decent getting at least amount. a two-hour concert. You're getting it. So kind of think of it like, obviously, yes, this is more expensive than a regular all-inclusive. And even because there's events that are happening that you are getting, right? So so just think of it like when we did the bus breakdown. So you think about like the, the hotel, the food, the flight, blah, blah, blah. If you had a concert, this is how much this would be. This is this. And this is, the thing is, it's a unique experience. It's not totally. like they do this every month. It's not like, no. will they do it again in another year? Maybe, Possibly. maybe not. You don't know. This could be a once in a lifetime cool resort thing. It absolutely could. And you know, it's always fun. They, they do not lead us astray. We always have a good time. They're always being entertaining. Go in with low expectations. Go in that it's just like a fun trip yeah. with your friends. And then yeah. you know, just meet new people. Because we have always met new people every time we've gone on. An and event. think of it this way. When you go to a Backstreet Boys concert, and I'm sure many of you have been to Backstreet Boys concerts and not gotten meet and greet, did you have a bad time? Were you like, man, that sucked because I didn't get a meet and greet? Garbage because I didn't get to hug Kevin. Like, like, no, you didn't. So this is going to be. I've only ever been to one Backstreet Boys concert, so. Well, you had oh. the option to come last year. What one Backstreet Boys concert did you go to? Like when they were like back in like we were in high school. Okay. I, went with, I went with Andrea and her sister Carly. Oh, interesting. I stood in line cool. at Blue Notes to get my tickets. To get your ticket. And I got a little red bracelet. So I stood in line for them, bought the ticket. Ah, uh, Ticketmaster. We used yeah. to line up to get tickets. And it was a lot. Anyways, that is not what we're talking about here today. Anyways, long story short, short story long. If you can go and you're going to have. Have an amazing time. We would love to have you on the podcast to chat about your experience afterwards because I'm at this point not going, but you know me and never um, say never. Never say never. 
But again, so many people are going, they have the complimentary Wi-Fi. You know, people are going to put videos up. You can live vicariously through them. Exactly. And and the and it's not like the boys are like this is our last event ever and the brand is breaking up. You, they've been around for thirty years. They're not fucking going anywhere. They're gonna be here for as long as they can. Another thirty years. As long as there'll be music, music they'll be coming, coming back, back again. Okay. So, anyways, you do you. You know your life. You enjoy yourself. If you don't want to go, don't shit on other people's parades who do want to go. Oh my God. Yeah. Please like, don't do that. Just like yeah. let people enjoy their lives. If they want to go, enjoy your life. If you want to go, enjoy your life. If you don't want to go and you want to, I don't know, go somewhere else or stay home or do whatever, that's that is your life. You would, who cares what other people think? Just enjoy. <laughs> you know? <laughs> And oh if you want God. a cheap way to meet some of them, go to a convention and hope they show up. It's been wonderful have being back on the podcast. I glad I get to, people get to see me again. I know glad it's wonderful to, to have again. my other. If you want more, Big Papa. Leave yeah, a comment below. Leave a know, comment you. below if you're and to our host Chinsia. We say thank you. Ah, and thanks, Diane, for coming back. You're still in the logo, so you're always no welcome problem. here whenever you want to come back. Uh, so again, thanks for taking a break with us. Until next time, thanks for listening. Bye. Bye. Bye.